Venus retrograde, the planet of love, beauty, money, resources, and self-worth and value is now retrograde and slowing down. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you today about how to understand your Venus when it goes retrograde and what themes you may predict to happen for you with this Venus retrograde. Hey guys, it's me, Helena. Welcome back to my channel where I talk all about astrocartography and locational astrology specifically. But today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about Venus retrograde and what to expect when your Venus is retrograde. I am here reporting from Bali. I'm in Seminyak and I've got some cat ears on and a robe. I did put on some earrings for you guys to spice enough the look a little bit. No makeup on and I'm in a bathrobe. I'm feeling cozy, I'm feeling comfy. So that's what we've got today. And if you're curious, I am a Hellenistic astrologer using the tropical zodiac and whole sign houses. Now, what is Venus? Venus is the planet of love, beauty, harmony, relationships, money, resources, and it's also the planet of values. So currently, right now, um, until September 4th of 2023, we have Venus retrograde in Leo. So where in your chart do you have Leo? As a Hellenistic astrologer, I do use whole sign houses. I used Placidus for 10 years before switching over four years ago. One of the best things I ever did. I'm obsessed with whole sign houses. I find it to be very accurate in terms of making predictions for events or experiences in a person's life. So as I use whole sign houses, I'm going to be looking at my 10th house. I have Leo in the 10th whole sign house in my chart. So Venus is retrograde in my 10th whole sign house. So that's the first step. Step number one is to see where is Venus retrograde. That's gonna show you the area of life and the topics that may come up and be presented as to what is being slowed down or a pivot point for you. And then the next step is you wanna look at where you have the rulers of your Venus, right? So Venus, the planet of love and beauty and relationships, it rules Taurus, Taurus and Libra. Those are the two signs that rule Venus. So we wanna to look to where do you have Taurus and Libra in your natal chart? What areas of life are those placed? To give you an example, I have the seventh house is Taurus and the 12th house is Libra. So I'm looking at those Venus ruled signs, Libra, Taurus, I'm gonna see, okay, seventh house and 12th house. And this brings me into the next point, which is to look at your annual perfections. Annual perfections are a Hellenistic Time Lord technique where you can determine what is the planet and area of life that's really being activated for that given year. So for example, if Taurus is your activated house for this year using annual perfections, then that means Venus is your activated planet this year, meaning this year with this current Venus retrograde, this is going to be a very important retrograde for you if your Venus is activated. That's a cool added technique that you can add into looking at your, you know, your transits is what planet is turned on and activated for me this year. And if we're going through a big retrograde, that specific planet is gonna be even more important for you. That retrograde is gonna be more important for you. So next you wanna look at what planets or angles does Venus aspect? So is Venus aspecting your Mars right now? Is Venus aspecting your moon? Is it squaring um, Mars? Is it opposing Jupiter? Is it conjunct your moon, right? We wanna look at these aspects because that's gonna give us more characters to the story. We have the setting of our play, which is the house or the area of life. And then we have these little characters that are here. And when we have planets aspecting other planets, they're kind of like forming relationships or the characters are seeing one another. There's some sort of relationship or visibility or association with one another. So we can get more information and clarity, more detail when we look at those aspects. And finally, the last thing I love to do when looking at retrogrades is to understand what was going on for you during the previous retrograde. So for example, this current retrograde Venus is retrograde in Leo. When was the last time Venus was retrograde in Leo? Well, it was the summer of 2015. And you could look back at summer of 2015, 2007, 1999, I believe was the other time that Venus was retrograde. An entire Venus cycle is eight years. So we can go to 2015 and then we can go back again to 2007 and then we could go back to 1999. Every eight years, we have a similar Venus retrograde in that sign. The last time that Venus was retrograde in Leo was July 25th, 2015 to September 6th, 2015. So what was going on for you that August? 
right? August of 2015, what was happening for you? To give you an example of how you could do this, you know, I look back at what was, what was happening for me summer of 2015? Well, that was the summer that I decided to leave my profession. That was a 10th house Venus retrograde. That was the point that I decided I wanted to leave acting, that I didn't wanna be as an actor per se. I still wanted to be in the business, but I wanted to try different areas of the business. I remember I was backpacking Europe at the time solo, and I remember sitting in a cafe and thinking about how I wanted to try other things in the entertainment business. I wanted to try casting. I thought maybe I could do it, be an agent. And then I also was thinking about maybe being even a music video director. Like those are just some things that I was really thinking about and contemplating when I was backpacking Europe alone that summer. And it all stemmed back from that summer, that summer of being alone in Europe and really contemplating and thinking, do I wanna keep doing this? Do I wanna keep doing this career that I've been working on since I was a child? Since I was like eight years old, that's all I've ever wanted to do is acting. And then for the first time in my life, it was like, I don't think I wanna do this anymore. What's also interesting is yes, that was a 10th house Venus retrograde. So again, career themes are gonna come up. Contribution, service, legacy, what it is you wanna do in life for your career and your reputation. That was really changing. But the other thing is I have to look at the seventh house and the 12th house, right? And the seventh house is about relationships and your partner. That was the summer I fell in love. My husband, now husband, at that point, he was my boyfriend for only about six months. He came to meet up with me in August when Venus was retrograde grade and I fell in love with him that summer. That was the summer when I really realized I wanted to just have him in my life for like for a long time and that was the really really important time for us in our relationship. So I just wanted to give you that little example to kind of help you understand how to understand your own Venus retrograde period and transit. Which whole sign house is Venus retrograde in your chart and where do you have the rulers, uh, the ruler of the, that planet, what whole sign house are those in? That's gonna give you a little bit more context and information as to what is slowing down for you? What needs to be re-evaluated in terms of those themes? What do you need to look at? And what needs to kind of have some time to press pause and meditate on those themes in your life? With Venus retrograde, um, it's not really a time of forward movement, but rather it's a time of re-evaluating, rethinking, and really meditating on, you know, what is something that needs to change or um, something that needs to kind of have some time for discernment and pause in your life. So I hope that this information um, is valuable for you and you found some good little nuggets of wisdom in there. I'm sending you such a big hug and feel free to get my free astro cartography guide down below if you'd like to get that. And I'll see you soon. Have a magical day and happy travels. Bye.